Hello students, today I have another science video for you on your second chapter that is the teeth. I have some extra exercises like we did in the previous video and some extra topics. Before we start, let us recap what we did in the first part of chapter 2. We read about the functions of our teeth. We also read about the types of sets of teeth in human beings which are milk teeth and permanent teeth. We also read about the types of teeth based on their structure and function. The different types of teeth are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. We also read about the function of each of these in detail. We read about the parts of a tooth which is crown, neck and root. We read about how we can take care of our teeth and about foods that are good for the health of our teeth and foods that are not good for the health of our teeth. As I mentioned to you in the previous video, your science book is a new edition of an old book. Therefore, you will find that this book has some new words, new topics and new definitions in it. So let us discuss one such change that is there in this book that is the parts of a tooth. So in your previous video when I explained parts of a tooth to you, I said that the parts of a tooth are crown and root. So in this book we have the same parts of a tooth but we have another extra part over here that I would like to tell you about. Previously I told you that the upper part of a teeth that we can see is called the crown and the part that is inside the gums is called the root. In between the crown and the root, there is this part where we can see our gums, the outline of our gums. That area is called the neck. So to make it easier for you, we have three parts, crown, neck and root. Let us read about it. The crown is the part of the root that can be seen when you smile or open your mouth. The part of the tooth that you can see, the white enamel, is your crown. The part of the tooth that is below the gum line is called root. The root fixes the tooth in the jaw. So the root is inside the gums and your gum line is the outline of the gum. That line where the white enamel ends and your pink gum starts is your gum line. The part of the tooth in between the crown and the root is called the neck. It is covered by the gum. So you see, there is not much difference here, just a new name that is added to this part of the tooth. Now let us look at the structure of the tooth and learn the parts one by one. So here, I have labeled all the parts of the tooth and I will explain to you one by one. So right on top, we have the enamel. You can see I have used a yellow highlighter to highlight the name that I am reading. Next we have the gum line which marks the outline of the gum. Then below that we have the gum. Now inside the teeth below the enamel we have the dentine and inside the dentine we have pulp. This pulp is made of blood vessels and nerves and this tooth is fixed in the jaw bone. So these are the different parts of a tooth. We have read about each of this part in the previous video that I did on chapter 2. Now let us re also revise how we can take care of our teeth. Foods rich in minerals such as phosphorus, fluorine and calcium and vitamin C make our teeth and gums strong and prevents tooth decay. So these minerals and vitamins make our teeth stronger and healthier. Some rich sources of these nutrients are curd, milk, cheese, cottage cheese which we also call paneer, green leafy vegetables, meat and fish and vitamin C can be found in, we already discussed this in chapter 1, lemons, oranges and gooseberries which we also called amla etc. Eating raw food such as apple, carrot, radish, Sugarcane etc. provides exercise to the teeth and also makes them strong. 
deficiency of vitamin C causes bleeding gums called scurvy. So I already told you what deficiency diseases are. We get deficiency diseases when there is shortage of some kind of vitamin in our body. So the deficiency of vitamin C causes a condition in which your gums start bleeding if they get hurt slightly while you are brushing or while you are eating. It is called scurvy. So we must have enough amounts of mineral and vitamin C rich foods so that our teeth remains healthy. We should also visit a dentist every 6 months so that they can check our teeth and make sure that we are not having any kind of teeth problems like tooth decay etc. With that we have come to the end of this chapter and I have some new exercises for you to solve. Let's solve this together. First we have true and false. Incisors are used to bite, cut food. That is the function of an incisor. So this statement is true. Each jaw has four molars. Each jaw actually has six molars. So this statement is false. Permanent teeth are not replaced by new ones. This statement is true. Milk teeth can be replaced by permanent teeth but permanent teeth is not replaced. Dentine is a bone like hard layer of the teeth. This is true. The dentine below the enamel is a bone like hard layer. Lemon is a rich source of calcium. We just read that lemon is actually a source of vitamin C. Therefore this is false. Mouthwash is used to clean the face. This is false because we know that mouthwash is actually used to wash our mouth. So I have written down the answers here for you. Let's go on to the next question. Take the correct answer. The cutting teeth are options, canines, incisors, molars and premolars. We know that incisors are used to cut food. Therefore, the answer is B, incisors. Number 2. Milk teeth start to grow at the age of options 2 months, 4 months, 6 months, 8 months. So the answer is C. 6 months. 3. The part of tooth below gum line is called your options are crown, root, neck, enamel. So the part below the gum line is called the root. The answer is B. Root. This is an unhealthy food for teeth. Let's see the options. Carrot, milk, sugarcane, cola. So we know ca carrot and sugarcane are raw foods which are very good for our teeth. Milk provides our teeth with calcium. So the answer will be B. Cola. Cola is not good for our teeth. Once more, I have written down the answers here for you. Next question is fill in the blanks. So you have a set of words that you can use as answers. Let's start with number one. Milk is a rich source of dash. We know this very well. The answer is calcium. Number two. We should brush our teeth dash a day. The answer is twice a day. A dash treats the disease of a teeth. The answer will be Dentist. A dentist treats the diseases of teeth. Number four, the temporary teeth are also called dash teeth. The temporary teeth are also called milk teeth. Dash do not grow in milk teeth. The answer will be premolars. Premolars do not grow in milk teeth. Number six, dash are also called grinding teeth. The answer will be molars. So now we have matched the following. Unlike other match the following, this is slightly different. You can see that here we have three columns. In column A, we have the four different kinds of teeth. In column B, we have the structures of the teeth. And in column C, we have the number of each type of teeth in one jaw. So let us see. Incisors. The diagram of incisors here, we know the incisors are thin and flat. So the answer for 1 will be C. And the number of incisors in our mouth is 4. 
So your answer is 1, C, 4. Next, canine. Canine are sharp and pointed. So the image of canine is number D. And the number of canines in, our, in one jaw is 2. So your answer is 2, D, 2. Premolar. We know premolars are broad teeth but not broader than the molars. So your image for premolar is number A. The number of premolars in one jaw is 4. So your answer for 3 is A, 4. Finally, molar. The biggest, strongest and broadest teeth in our mouth is the molar. So the image for molar is number B and the number of molars in each jaw is 6. So your answer is 4, B, 6. I have written down the answers here by making groups 1 C 4, 2 D 2, 3 A 4 and 4 B 6. I hope you will be able to understand this. If you want you can draw lines between the columns in this match the following as this is slightly confusing. Otherwise you can write the answers how I have written. Now we have the question answers for you. Let's discuss this one by one. Name the four types of teeth and write their functions. So the four types of teeth are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. In the previous video of this chapter, I have written down the functions of each type of teeth. So you can use that as a reference. What are temporary teeth and what is their number? So temporary teeth, we know the definition already. The first set of teeth that grow in human beings are called temporary teeth. And the number is around 20 by the time a human being is 2 or 2 and a half years old. Name the hardest substance in our body. This is easy. The hardest substance in our body is the enamel. Which food item should we eat for healthy teeth? So we just discussed this. The food items that are he healthy for our teeth are foods that are rich in minerals such as phosphorus, fluorine, calcium and vitamin C. I have given you some examples over there. You can write them down for this answer. Next question. Why should we go to the dentist once in six months? So I explained this to you when we were reading about how to take care of our teeth. A dentist checks our teeth and can tell you if there is some problem like tooth decay in your teeth. So if there is any such problem in your teeth, a dentist can suggest medicines or procedures how you can take care of it. Therefore, we should go to the dentist once in six months. Once again, I have written down the answers for you over here from question number 1 to 5. You can try to write the answers yourself or you can follow these answers that I have given. Here I have some important pointers regarding diagrams. Now we know that diagrams are an important part of your subject science and in this book too we have a few diagrams that you will need to practice. Practice diagrams given in this chapter for example, structure of tooth, types of teeth. Memorize the labels in the diagram. The names of each part are called the labels. Memorize them well. Always write the name of the diagram below the drawing. So, so with this, we come to the end of this chapter. That's all for today. Thank you.